welcome back to part three of reviewing smelling samples from stock fragrance if you haven't seen part one and two that is now available on my channel and so without further ado let's get on with the video so the first one we are gonna smell for today is lavender milk now lavender milk was one that i was so excited to actually get my hands on and i'm so happy to have it in my hand because i was very interested and intrigued on what exactly will this smell like um of course you'll get that lavender right obviously so let's get on with this fragrance and some key notes french lavender coconut milk and sage blossom so we're getting that floral that light calming and soothing floral from the lavender um so maybe some coconut and cream and some herbal from that sage you do get that coconut and of course that lavender but i don't get so much of that herby type of scent from that sage so really what i smell is lavender and coconut and it does smell sweet a little bit on the sweet side but definitely a floral as well but again just as we've seen repeatedly time and time again from these scents they are not strong and um, will not give you a headache it's a, it's something that is very tolerable um, i really like this one would i use it in soap yes i would okay, i really like this one we're starting off on a good note here the next one we're gonna go over is lust which i have right here trying to go pretty quick on these um fragrances because we still have a lot to do and i would like to get through them all in this video however i don't think i'll be able to because it's quite a bit and we're still on the l's so some key notes for this one is datura black orchid moonflower and midnight iris definitely a very mature scent and it smells so beautiful and i know it has like a couple of florals in here however it's not so strong on the floral it's so soft um i probably wouldn't have called it lust it doesn't it doesn't smell like lust to me lust was more like from the fragrance from part two uh gunpowder milk i think it was called that one was more lusty very sexy but this one is not lusty at all to me i would have probably called it something else but it is delicious nonetheless and i think it is a great scent to add into your collection but i think I would use it more for like a perfume or like a roll-on more than a soap although a soap would be absolutely perfect because it does smell wonderful it does have five out of five stars and you are able to use this in cp soap magnolia i'm kind of scared of this one because i'm not a huge fan of florals uh, nor are my customers i don't know what it is i just do not like florals all that much i would have to mix it with something else to kind of balance out that floral or bring it down a little bit so i'm really hoping this one would be will be okay some keynotes for magnolia white magnolia orange blossom and dew drop so that kind of calms me down a bit because it's not just a floral of course um from reviewing a bunch of fragrances already from stock fragrance it's never just what that um title says it's always going to be mixed with something so that is something i really like from them because in other fragrance oils if you were to get a magnolia you're going to get a straight up magnolia that's what you're going to get but the way i've noticed how stock fragrance um does their fragrance oils is that they have a title although it will be named for example orange other fragrance oil companies you're going to get a straight up orange but if it was an orange from stock fragrance, I believe they were they would mix it up with other things. Maybe orange, maybe a little bit of lemon, maybe some sherbet as well. So that's what I like about this one. You're never getting exactly what the title says. You know it's going to be something very unique and different. Very beautiful. And I think it would be amazing for a spring soap. You do get that beautiful citrus with a light floral. So you would think at first glance of this title, it would just be straight up floral. It is not. It's actually more citrusy with a little bit of floral in the background. And I think it's amazing. Definitely a good one to have in your soap collection, in my opinion. And you are able to use this in soap next one mango blossom now i am a huge fan of mango some key notes white peach you see from mango blossom you don't expect to get peach in there and apricot 
So it does have white peach, apricot, jasmine, and honeysuckle. This is a very unique scent. I wouldn't say that I like it all that much and I have no idea why. There's like a spiky greenness to it that I'm not really a fan of. Almost like a, I don't know, it's like an herb of some sort that I'm not liking. Or is it like a cucumber or, I'm not sure. It's probably the jasmine. I think jasmine is what smells like that because I do have some jasmine flowers that my mother has planted outside. And I think I've smelled it like once and, I, and it's kind of reminding me of that. I'm guessing it is the jasmine. That's just how jasmine smells like. It's all right. I bet you if I were to have my mother smell it, she would absolutely love it because she's in love with jasmine. I think it's all right. I would probably, if I had to use this, I'd probably mix it with something else. I'm not sure what, but maybe like a citrus type of scent. But um, I don't know. On its own, I probably wouldn't use it. Next one, mint frost. I am excited about this one. I am a huge fan of minty, snowy type of scents. He notes arctic mint, chilled eucalyptus, ice water, and citrus frost. Ooh, so this is going to be a very refreshing type of scent. If you're looking for a Christmas scent different from your regular peppermint and eucalyptus, this would be wonderful. It smells minty. Definitely. That's what you're getting. Exactly what the keynote says. Mint, eucalyptus, and a little bit of citrus. You do smell that citrus in there. So if you want to break free from the regular old year after year peppermint candy cane type of candy scents this would be a great twist on that i think this is amazing and i'm sure if you were to mix this with um a candy cane type of scent that you already use every year um it would work out well and it will offer a twist on your every year candy cane um it's wonderful i mean it's there's nothing much left to say about it it is what it is um amazing and I would definitely use it for a Christmas soap. We're on to the O's finally. Olfactive illusion. I don't know what to expect from this scent at all. I don't even know what this means. Olfactive illusion. It's a very unique name for a scent. So key notes, driftwood, key lime, white florals, and ocean air. Absolutely wonderful. A little on the masculine side very calm soothing you do get a woody scent i don't get that citrus from the key lime though and it is a little floral with a little bit of like that ozone type of scent absolutely wonderful i think it's wonderful it has five out of five stars amazing i would use this for like a um, soap for my boyfriend or something like that this smells really good very masculine very fresh very clean it's a great scent i wish we had those um CP notes so that I can kind of see if I can get my hands on it and use it for a soap and probably gift it to my boyfriend. It smells so good. Next one, Oud Rose. I never learned how to pronounce the O-U-D. I, I want to say it's Oud, but I'm probably butchering it. There's already a rose scent that we reviewed on the first video. I'm guessing this is not going to be at all the same. Um, from the picture here, it looks like it's going to be like maybe a smoke scent with a rose. So I'm excited for that. I think florals and smoke do play well together. Let's read the keynotes. Rose smoke. I was right on that. Um, Calla lily or Gaia lily. Midnight iris and black orchid. I'm excited to get that smoky scent. It almost smells like a fruity type of scent with floral. I get very light smokiness, not all that much. It's not overpowering on the smoky. I, you can barely pick it up actually. It smells more floral and fruity to me, but it is a beautiful scent. For someone not a floral fan, um, I would definitely use this. It almost smells like a little bit of watermelon. Uh, it smells juicy, like a fruit, delicious, like watermelon and flowers. You do get that rose, of course. And this does have five out of five stars. This is amazing. I would probably mix this with another smoky type of scent. And I think it would play wonderful to bring out that smokiness a bit more. 
because I think this is a really wonderful scent. Next one, Orange Blossom. So first we had Mango Blossom and now we have Orange Blossom. Some key notes for Orange Blossom. Orange Blossom, Neroli, and Pettigreen. I think Neroli is another one of those um, aromatherapy type of scents. I think it is an essential oil, but I'm not sure. I want to say it is. This smells wonderful. I love it. You get floral, and I'm guessing that's the Neroli and Pettigreen. And you do get that little bit of citrus in there. Definitely a wonderful spring scent, and I would love to add this one to a spring soap. I think it's absolutely wonderful. I would probably use this in a spring scent and add maybe some orange peel powder to add some exfoliation, and maybe a few like petals of some flower that I have there. I have different um, botanicals there and I think it would be amazing. And I'd probably make it into like a coconut milk type of soap as well. Oh, this is beautiful and it has five out of five stars. It smells so mature and unique. I've never smelled anything like it. It's wonderful, absolutely beautiful. Next scent, Paulonia Wood. I think that's how you pronounce it, Paulonia. Some key notes here, warm cedo, dry gin, white pine, and sun-dried aromatics. And it does have five out of five stars. Huh, I don't know what I expected. This is definitely not what I expected to smell. Even though I had those key notes, I still wasn't sure on what to expect, but this is not it. That is not to say that this smells terrible. This smells absolutely amazing, fresh, clean. If you're looking for a fresh and clean scent, again, this is leaning towards the masculine scent, in my opinion. You can smell the water in here. You can smell florals in here. It smells a little bit woody, but not all that much. Would I use this in soap? Probably not. This is not a scent that I really enjoy, but it does smell so good, and in fact, I would probably buy the scent if I was gonna make maybe some like perfume roll-ons or something like that because that does smell good for that but I don't like it for a soap necessarily unless maybe um, I need a scent for like a masculine type of line for soap this would be great to use but not a favorite but it smells absolutely wonderful and it does have five out of five stars so that does say something Next one, peach hibiscus. This was one of the ones that I was really excited about. I love peach scent so much. This has five out of five stars. Some key notes, Plum, plumeria. I think that's how you pronounce it, plumeria. Pink jasmine hibiscus and lychee blossom. I'm excited about that lychee blossom. Heaven, it doesn't smell all that fruity, but you do get a little bit of fruitiness. It smells more floral than anything, and it smells like a tropical paradise at the beach. That's what this reminds me of. Like if you're at the beach and there's like flowers, fresh flowers everywhere as decoration, this is what you'd smell like in combination with like maybe some sea water or something. This is what that smells like. Beaches, sand, flowers, fruitiness, drinking something out of a pineapple like in the movies with a little cute umbrella as a decoration on top of the drink. It just smells like that. I think it smells delicious. I would definitely use this in CP soap. It's wonderful. And I think it's a wonderful summer scent. So I would probably use this in the summer. Pineapple brulee. Now when you think of brulee, I wouldn't think pineapple being a good candidate to pair with a brulee. Some key notes here. Salted caramel, toasted pineapple, and dark rum syrup. How exciting. And this has no reviews yet. I'm not sure if I like it all that much. Now that I took it out of the plastic, I, it smells so much better. I wouldn't say it smells straight up like caramel or candy, but you do get a little bit of that pineapple. It's pineapple with like a softness. It's a very soft scent. It's not, a, I wouldn't even categorize this as like a candy type of scent, like a pineapple candy. It is a little bit sweet, not overly sweet at all. Like you would think it would be for being a pineapple brulee. It doesn't smell all that sweet. It's very calm on the sweetness. 
you do get a little bit of caramel i suppose it's not a favorite but it does smell good i wouldn't put this on the top 20 maybe the top 30 i would because i've smelled other scents that i love way more than this and this doesn't even come close but it does smell good and whenever i say that i really don't like a scent that does not mean that it's a terrible scent so keep in mind everyone's noses are different um you'll register scents differently than i would you might like it versus i might hate it that does not mean the scent is bad pink vetiver is next i know vetiver is a well-known um essential oil that people use sometimes i'm not familiar with it though i just know that it is an essential oil used for like aromatherapy or even um beard oils some people have used it in beard oils i'm not sure if it has a masculine scent for that but i know of people who have used this in beard oils some keynotes cherry blossom pink laurel white tea and vetiver suede this reminds me i don't know why this is making me nostalgic this smells like a very old perfume that i used to have when i was a kid i think it would smell really good in a soap however um, I think I would prefer it more in like a perfume roll-on because it smells straight up like a perfume that a woman might wear. But it smells so good, so soft, but it smells absolutely good. I wouldn't even put it as a floral smell. I don't know what category I would put it because it doesn't smell like floral to me and I'm not a huge fan of floral. So when I smell floral, I already know I'm like, ew. But this one... Although there's a bunch of florals on here, it doesn't smell like floral to me, but it smells so good and I think I think it's a very wonderful scent. This is probably up there with one of my favorites. It's so good. I didn't expect it to smell this good. I expected very strong floral, but this is absolutely amazing. All right, so we got to the P's and we're already heading into the R's, but I think I'm gonna stop it right here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to watch part one and two if you're trying to find a specific scent. Um, they are all alphabetical order. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.